you never know what to expect when it comes to a North London derby and that's what we have to look forward to today here at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, Stuart Robson is next to me ready to provide expert analysis. Stuart, what should we look forward to? Well, I think we're going to get a good game. The atmosphere is always hostile whenever these two teams meet. Let's just hope the players can put that to one side and give us a great game today. They're two very good teams. We'll go with this starting 11. When you see it like that, their central midfield players look a little bit isolated. But I'm expecting the two fullbacks to push up to make it more of a 3 4 3. And I think we see a lot of positional rotation in this starting 11. Here are the starters for Arsenal Aaron Ramsdale as the goalkeeper. Granit Xhaka plays alongside Martin Odegaard in central midfield. And the main striker here is Edward Nketiah. is underway but he's got past his man firing it in terrific block A short corner. Nketia. It's opening up for them. And still danger here. But hang on, the flag is up. And the keeper can breathe a big sigh of relief. Well, we're focusing on a player who just seems to get better and better, Hyung Min Son. What do you expect to see from him today, Stuart? Well, Derek, he comes into this game full of confidence because in the last match, he was outstanding. He got his two goals, but his general play made him the best player. Could be! Great reflex action. Well, that should have been a goal. Mind you, it's a brilliant save. And short it is. Davis. And here's Dyer. No longer has custody of it, Dyer. And Kessia. Saka. Here's Cedric. Bukayo Saka. And that is how to win the ball back from your opponent. Romero. Now Dyer. Son. And scope for them to produce something exciting. But ultimately up a cul-de-sac. Getting forward. 
Chance to cross. And a goal! Arsenal strike first in the derby. And that has silenced the majority in here. Well, here's the replay, and it all starts with the delivery into the box. Just begging someone to get on the end of it. But how is he allowed that much time and space? He doesn't even have to jump to head it in. It's a good finish, but terrible defending. Well, back underway here. How will Spurs reply to that setback? Kane regained possession. Saka. Oh, good use of the ball. And it's played into the centre. And they couldn't quite muster a real threat. Fabier. Bentancourt. It's with Bentancourt. Bentancourt. was a crucial challenge Saka Lokonga here's Cedric Bukayo Saka and Kessia and he's got the beating of his opponent how about the cross a really top-notch piece of defending Sessegnon. Now Son. Kane. And Hoybier with it. And giving the ball away. And Kessia. How can he take them on and beat them? Good pressure to win the ball back high up the pitch. <laughs> Deflected behind, corner forthcoming. They take it short. And Ketia. Teammate available. And quite simply, wide of the target. Good tackle. So here we are, close to the half-time interval, and Spurs narrowly behind. Stuart, what have you made of their performance in the first half? Well, it's been a tight first half so far, but they haven't quite shown enough guile in the attacking third. If, however, they can be more dynamic in the 1v1 situations, they have the quality to turn this around. And they're moving the ball neatly enough. Just looking for that decisive pass. Emerson. Bentancourt with it. Javier. Son. Plenty of options. It's a high-level tackle. Brilliant. 
Saka. Lokonga. It's with Erdogan. Almost weighing up the opposition with a string of neat passes. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. And smart defending. Davis. Bentancourt. No more time left. That is it for the first half here at the home of Tottenham. Well, he's been the standout for his side so far, don't you think, Stuart? Well, Derek, he took his goal well and was a constant threat throughout that first half. I thought he showed a lot of skill to get out of tight situations and he had a real... And away they go again. What to do for Spurs in this second half? Kulusevski. He's beaten his man. Emerson. Now Dyer. Might be able to produce from this position. Bentancourt. Ryan Sessegnon has it. Bukayo Saka. Cedric. Lokonga. Granit Xhaka. And he read it well. Eric Dyer. And that was a very fine read. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come onto them. Martin Odegaard. It's neat passing, confidence on the ball. Well, they couldn't keep that sequence going, unfortunately. Dejan Kulusevski. Kane. Can't argue with that little move. And offside anyway, albeit a tight one. Substitution for Both managers deciding this is the time to change things around. Both teams going to the bench. Number eight, Harry Winks. Substitution for Arsenal. Coming off the pitch, number 30, Eddie Ampetti. To be replaced by number nine, Alex Lacazette. Gabriel. Lokonga. And doing the manoeuvring is Lacazette. Determined block. Winks. Now Romero with it. Kulusevski. Now Harry Kane. Son. Chance to play it in. This attack looks highly promising. Moving the ball nicely. Trying to carve out the equaliser. Crossing into the middle. Couldn't hang on to it. Well, as you can see, Arsenal haven't had that much of the ball, but their attacking play has been really incisive. It's been a really good display from them so far. Albert Sambi Lokonga. Now Lacazette. It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, it was apparently a bookable offence. Well, no debate over that one. It's a yellow card all day long. <laughs> and 
and disappointingly straight into the wall. Pribier. Well, with the support of these fans, Tottenham are throwing everything at this now. And into the last 20 minutes. I don't think he'll be proud of that challenge. And it's left to the referee to decide what happens next. And a red card it is indeed. He's been given his marching orders. And they've played so well, but that could have a huge impact on this game now. For now and routine for the keeper in the end the cross far too close to him well Spurs now in potentially a dangerous position and it will be an Arsenal free kick Inside the final 15 minutes. Cedric. Lokonga. Really well played pass. Now far from a smooth challenge. Now will the referee produce a card? And yellow it is. A booking? Yeah, he was too impatient to win the ball and probably deserved a yellow card. Substitution time it is. Short and along the ground. El Neni. Nicola Pepe. Moving the ball neatly enough, just looking for that decisive pass. Corner conceded, it came off the defender. Well, nearing the end of the game, what can Spurs pull out of the fire, Stuart? Well, their attacking play has been too slow, it's lacked penetration, and at times it's looked devoid of ideas. But can that change in the final few minutes here? It only needs one moment of magic. Really getting stuck in defensively. Well, there's still scope for late drama here. Five minutes left, and just one goal between the sides. Harry Kane, Lucas with it, the clock is against Tottenham, but they might yet bite back. Rebier, well, nothing comes of the attack when all is said and done. El Neni, on to Pepe, El Neni with it. is going to add on four added minutes could cross it in here Winks very alert defending to put a stop to the chance Davis and he read it well So full time, the referee's whistle is sounded and it is a disappointing defeat for Tottenham Hotspur.
Well, Derek, it was a hard-fought contest, which neither side completely dominated, but the result will certainly hurt them. They need to bounce back next time out. I think it's accurate to say, Stuart, that this man was the light-bringer for his side. Well, he gave them a really hard time, didn't he? His speed of thought was excellent, and he took the winning goal so well. He was brilliant today.